think growing up, uh, you and I was a big part of my life. I was at football games, volleyball games, basketball games, like purple and gold was in me. In my mind as a little child, I was always like, you and I, that's like a great place. It's right there, it's home, family. It's not too big, not too small, and I kind of just fell in love with it. Right after I committed, I said, I know this is the, the best decision that I've made, and I was 100% into it. I think it was all meant to be. They spend so much time together, from fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. I mean, if you think about all those years they've been together, for those girls to be able to have that familiarity with each other, going into college is great. But knowing that they're all together, I think it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for them. I think that's kind of the neatest thing for me is when, when you literally say they've played hundreds of games together already, they, they have a feel for each other and they know where their, where their strengths are, where their weaknesses are. They truly, when you say, um, care about each other, I think they love each other. Just to watch that chemistry between them, their friendship build, hopefully get this championship and move on from there and do great things as well. I feel like growing up, like being blessed to be able to play the sport with these girls, like it was like really important to me and like these girls are my best friends. They've been a big part of my life, so just like getting the opportunity to play with them and keep playing with them for another four years is gonna be awesome. Whatever team that you're on, you're always gonna have different chemistries. With my Limar team, I had a great chemistry with them, but transitioning here, I would always make trips up here just to hang out with them, and I think it really brought us even closer. And it's like awesome for us like as a trio that when we are on the court, like if one of us isn't having a good game, the other two are, and it's just like we always were there for each other, we have each other's back. It's great to have like multiple minds thinking like the same way. They were always there for me. Make sure we are far enough in the corner so that way we have create room, right? I've been very fortunate to have not only talented kids on the court, but just good kids off the court. And uh, kids who want to do well, kids who want to excel. Um, and I think it starts with them. If you talk about Kiana, with her height and her ability to shoot the three, not only can we use her on the outside, and she's a three-point threat, uh, but she can also get in the middle and mix it up a little bit so we can find mismatches. The biggest thing with Cynthia is she's so smart on the court. And being our, our post player, um, really on the defensive end, she's directing where people need to go. And then obviously on the offensive end with her ability to shoot the three this year, teams are gonna have to guard her on the perimeter. When you talk about Cam, Cam just brings a level of intensity every time she plays. You never see her take a play off. I mean, she is going hard every single play. And I, I do think that's a little contagious, and I think other people feed off that. So uh, I think when you combine those three, it really makes a great dynamic on the basketball team. And it's going to be fun to watch them grow from what they are here as uh, seniors to watching them at the college level. And they are going to contribute to that basketball team at UNI. Our next senior is Cam Ridley. There came a window of time where the question became, if blank school calls you one day and says, hey, your scholarship's no longer available, are there any schools that that would cause your heart to jump? And I think for the girls, it became very clear there was a school and I said, then that's a point where you kind of know really where it is that you want to be. You go through all the emotions and stuff at the end of the season, at the end of the school year, because it's, it's a change, but it's a, a good change because they're still going to be together. To move from here to there, it's different and it's sad because it's the end of this, but it's a whole new journey mm -hmm. for them and a whole new beginning. I love the coaches. I don't think they just care about the basketball, um, they've shown me that they care about them as people and they want them to grow and become great community members. I'm excited that just to be able to see her, you know, grow into a, a, a young woman and, and get her education, it's, it's really, really exciting to be able to be with her through that journey. Oh, I'm definitely a little nervous to go, but that's going to be super exciting to wear the purple and gold and to like represent but I'm so thankful for these girls that they'll be like in it with me and we'll be able to like get through it together. I'm really excited to be able to put on a UNI jersey. 
It's a scary thing, but I just feel as if you just come in with that open mind and just realize that you've accomplished something amazing. Like, you have the opportunity to play basketball at this college on a full-ride scholarship. I mean, just a huge blessing. Both my parents did sports at UNI. My older brother runs track at UNI. So, I mean, it was always something like I looked up to. Like, I was like, wow, I want to be as good of an athlete as both my parents. And then when they gave me my offer, I was like, wow. And I got like super emotional about it because like the dream is coming true that I've been waiting for my whole life. And when it happens, it's going to be super surreal, but I'm super pumped for it and excited.